Hey guys, it's Blender Helix Alpha, and I'm here with a uh, small ZBrush tutorial, the first part in a uh, series of tutorials of ZBrush. Today we're going to be learning some simple hotkeys, what they do, and why we would want to use them. By the end of the series you should, um, you should be able to make basic modifications and up to advanced modifications on poly meshes inside of ZBrush, and uh, ready to export into your um, favorite program such as Blender, Unity 3D, whatever you, whatever you so choose. Um, whenever you open up the ZBrush menu, you should have a neat selection of default Z scripts. Just go ahead and open up Demo Head. That's what we're, what we're going to be using for um, today's tutorial. Um, so here we have just our basic opening ZBrush layout. Um, it starts us off with a standard brush that just basically adds um, a ball of poly mesh activity going on. Um, press Control Z to undo that. And let's say I wanted that back, I'd press Control Y and I'd get that back. So, we do that. Um, let's explore this first tab here that says Brush. You have Blob which um, just it's basically the same thing as standard except uh, magnified a bit clay it turns your um, poly mesh into a clay substance which you can uh, model around as you would of clay clay tubes displace elastic elastic just uh, basically stretches it in a ball fashion eye it creates eye punctures inside of your mesh good for uh, creatures and whatnot flatten gouge gouge is good inflate layer we're going to be using that Magnify, Mallet, um, there's all more that you can do, there's Move, um, which we will we'll be using this tutorial, Slash, Rake, Smooth, Snake Hook, Tracks, so as you can see there's a big um, assortment of different tools that you're going to have, um, and naturally you're going to be overwhelmed by these, but don't worry, each of them do a distinct and uh, pretty cool um, th different things they do. Um, stroke is the different mode of um, whoops, different mode of style that you want to uh, start designing in. Color spray is for texturing and other things. Um, drag dot freehand um, I use every now and then. Um, here's an interesting tab, alpha. It's pretty much the shape and texture that you're giving your brush. Such as right now we just have a ball, a sphere that you're, you're uh, building on with a sphere. So if we didn't want that, if we wanted something more um, more distinct and more textured, more realistic, then we'd come to this um, alpha brush thing, uh, uh, bar, and um, we'd pick one of these. They have another uh, great assortment of default items. Um, I'm just going to pick uh, let's see, Alpha 58. Let's do Alpha 58. I'm going to size up my brush here with draw size. Drag that up a bit. About to 48. I'm just going to color on his forehead. You can see that it's painting on texture and adding um, that into there. As you can see, that's really grinding in there and it's really morphing that. If we just wanted to give a hint, of texture, we would turn down the Z intensity. Right now it's on 25. I'm going to turn it down to 8. And you can see that it's just barely raking it, and it's giving nice detail to his face. I would go go ahead and Control Z that undo, and I'm going to show you. Um, I'm going to go back to standard. I'm going to um, turn my alpha off. So now we just have the ball again, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you. Sorry, I'm going to go ahead and show you um, Shift, Alt, and what Control does. And these are very basic, so um, those pros who are watching this, you probably won't, won't want to watch this tutorial, as you probably already know everything that um, I'm about to tell you. <laughs> but um, Shift um, is for smoothing. Um, so as you see, the grooves in his hair that come by default, you can smooth those down by holding down Shift and um, getting rid of those basically flattens it kind of 
So now he is bald, kind of. And if we wanted to turn the Z intensity way up, um, you'd see that it really grinds into his facial features. So we're going to undo that. If it'll let me go all the way back. No, it won't. That's fine. And um, we're going to check out what Alt does. So right now we have where it adds a big circle. Uh, adding a big circle everywhere. That's our alpha brush right now is by default a sphere. So what it's doing is adding. What Alt does is the exact opposite of whatever your brush is doing its function right now. So right now we're adding a sphere. What if we wanted to take one away? Then we'd had then we'd then we'd press Alt and we'd take one away from it. So now you're taking away a sphere of poly mesh. Um, it's basically negative poly mesh activity. Um, so yeah, that's what Alt does. Control. Excuse me. Control um, is for masking. Now, what can what basic masking? I'm not going to go into uh, technical masking and all that. But as you see, I just held down Control and painted on what I did not want affected. It's just like painting in real life. You paint on the uh, baseboards of a room or something of which you didn't want paint to get dripped on or whatever. So I'd, if I just wanted to add something on his shoulders here, I would paint out everything that I didn't want affected. And I'd go and release control and then paint in what I needed. And it would not affect any of this that I painted on there. So I would go to this masking tab and then press clear to clear all the masking and now I have only that section masked like I wanted. So I'll control Z that and uh, the rest of the tutorial I have a few minutes that I'm gonna do more and um, I'm just gonna teach you how you can basically modify a bone structure of this um, default character. As you can see I've been I've been using a since the beginning of this tutorial I've been using a mirrored brush now, if you're wondering how that's happening, um, I will tell you. Um, because this is a tutorial, and I tell you things. <laughs> um, you press X to go into mirrored mode. See, now I'm just coloring on different spots, wherever I need to be coloring. But if I do this, and if I press X, I can do it in any spot that I need. So, um, it's mirrored now. So what I'm going to basically do is show you what, show you that we're going to be using uh, the move tool. So we're going to click our brush and go to move. Going to turn our Z intensity to about 30, and we're going to right click. It's going to bring up our little quick menu and the draw size is going to be turned up just a bit, about to 54. And what this does is it moves around whatever element that you're using in ZBrush, um, and it's not stretching, it's just moving that certain pack that your pack of polys that you are um, selected. So I'm going to get his chin, I'm going to drag that down a bit, I'm going to get his jawline and drag that down as well. just shape his um, jaw feature as much as possible. I'm going to drag in his his facial feature right here. So now we have that and what we can do is we can go to our um, let's go to tracks and by default it is squares like that and uh, we're not going to use that we're going to go into our alpha and change that up change and p please pick whatever uh, texture you want but for this tutorial I'm going to use the alpha 22 texture and I'm just going to create a simple texture lining just to show you what we can do um, what you've learned um, in this tutorial and please 
please practice this before you move on to the next one. But um, we can just make some deep cuts and, and uh, effects to his face. Turn the Z intensity down a bit so we can put a little bit more detail under there. Get his nose and his chin, maybe some of his torso. So you basically have your modified face that you're going to do. Please, um, please practice this before moving on to part two. And I will, go, I will see you on the other side, guys. See ya.